Creepypasta has made a return, and it's better than it's ever been before, and really the main person behind this is Vibing Leaf, made notable by their other works, which are basically reimaginings of different creepypastas. The first one that really made it big was Red Mist Retake, which I've got a video covering. They've also reimagined the whole This Man story, Herobrine, The Grieving, and Jeff the Killer. And now they're out with Mouse.avi Retake. People have been waiting for this video for a while now, and it's the longest of any of these creepypasta retake videos. And it's really, really good. Now, for those who aren't familiar with the original story, I'm going to give a quick rundown of the original creepypasta, and show some of the videos that accompanied it at the time. This will really help you appreciate the new one. So, all the way back in 2009, a video alongside a creepypasta appeared on the internet, and it soon became one of the most famous of them. The creepypasta starts with the author asking the reader if they've heard of those old Mickey Mouse cartoons that were recently digitized and put on DVD. According to the story, there's one of these cartoons which just didn't end up getting released. Why? Well, it's said that the cartoon is nothing special. Just Mickey Mouse walking through an infinitely repeating background, similar to something you'd see on the Flintstones. However, instead of the normal happy tunes you'd hear on a normal Disney cartoon, it's instead audio that sounds like someone that's just smashing keys on a piano. Also, some of you might recognize the start of this video from its use on the Mr. Incredible Uncanny meme. Anyway, it's just said banging on the piano for a minute and a half until it cuts to just white noise. In this cartoon, Mickey wasn't happy like he usually is. He was instead looking kind of melancholy, just looking straight down. It was believed that after it cut to black, that was it. However, after a man by the name of Leonard Martin was reviewing the cartoon to be put in the DVD compilation, he decided it wasn't good enough to be put on there, but decided to digitize it anyway since it was a work of Walt Disney after all. However, it turns out the cartoon was actually 9 minutes long after it was digitized. Strange. When watching the whole video, you'd see that after it cut to black originally, it stays black until the 6th minute. When cutting back to Mickey, we hear a strange gargled murmur instead of the piano that we heard earlier. The sound and the visuals start to distort and get more and more bizarre. To directly quote the creepypasta, the sidewalk started to go in directions that seemed impossible based on the physics of Mickey walking, and the dismal face of the mouse was slowly curling into a smirk. After about a minute of this, the audio turns into a blood-curdling scream. There were colors on screen which shouldn't have been possible at the time of the black and white cartoons. Mickey's face becomes more and more distorted and creepy. To quote the story again, the building became rubble, floating in midair, and the sidewalk was still and possibly navigating in warped directions, a few seeming inconceivable with what we as humans know about direction. The man viewing the video got disturbed and left the room, getting a nearby employee to finish watching it. Once the video was about 8 minutes in, it abruptly cut out to that classic Mickey Mouse face with the end screen, but instead the audio that was playing before it sounded like a broken music box was playing in the background. We then see some spooky Russian text that reads, The sights of hell bring its viewers back in. The man who was sent in to watch the tape then stumbled out of the room, murmuring to himself, Real suffering is not known, before taking the firearm of a nearby security guard and ending his life with it. The story then says that if the video has somehow found its way online, you can find it by the name of Yasusmouse.avi. So that's the original story. And it's pretty alright. Alongside the story, there came a whole ton of videos that tried to remake the cartoon in the story. The video that's most well known is this one here. Is it accurate to the story? No, not at all. But that's okay. Some of these videos look better than others. This one here in particular I always thought looked pretty real as a kid since it sources actual Mickey Mouse cartoon clips and just loops an animation from there. In a comic from the 1930s, Mickey Mouse thinks that Minnie Mouse is cheating on him. There's a comic from the 1930s of Mickey Mouse where he thinks that Minnie Mouse is cheating on him, so he decides to try to end his life in a variety of ways and hilarity ensues. Like, look at this panel here. Doesn't that look familiar? This actually perfectly leads me into Mouse.avi Retake. The video starts off with a warning screen, stating, The tape you have is forbidden and probably stolen and has been banned and hidden in Disney's archives. Forbidden tape. After a quick warning, it fades to the classic Mickey Mouse end screen picture, which is actually an original piece by Vibing Leaf, and it's creepy in a way that I can't exactly pin down. There's just something off about this. It then cuts to some actual vintage footage of some Mickey Mouse cartoons. The cartoon shows Mickey hanging out with Minnie, until he upsets her and she tells him off and proceeds to smash a vase over his head. This kind of signifies them breaking up. We then see Minnie, 
With a new mouse, Mickey is watching as his love is taken by someone else. Poor little guy. Like in the original story, Mickey sadly walks down the street while sad and creepy piano music plays in the background. This video, like the grieving retake, uses timestamps on the video to help segment parts of the story. The chapter that we just witnessed was called The Start. We are now seeing Betrayed. So after being broken up with by Minnie Mouse, Mickey decides to overdose on stimulants. He walks down the street and the whole time he's hallucinating, which explains why the background is so strange and distorted and only continues to get weirder and weirder. As he's walking, a photo of a ship flies down and he picks it up. This brings him back to his days as Steamboat Willie, which for those who know, is Mickey Mouse's debut cartoon. We see Mickey falling down the stairs and then his friend Giddy and the goat picking him up. Mickey then gives a thumbs up, but then they both seem to make a really disturbing realization. No one is steering the ship and there's an awful storm. They try to make it to the top and steer it to safety, but in that action, Gideon falls off and is lost to the sea. Gideon was his best friend at the time, aside from Minnie, and now he's dead. Mickey feels as though he failed him and that that's just it. Originally in this video, there was gonna be a part where he remembers Donald and Goofy's death, but that was cut. However, they're both dead in this universe. Mickey then continues to hallucinate, seeing that exact same wind that killed his friend on the street. He then has a complete mental break, laughing maniacally and smiling, a really long and disturbing grin. <laughs> He continues to hallucinate, and his own form starts to get corrupted. We can see fire at the bottom of the screen, which is indicative of what's to come next. This is where we hear actual dialogue from Mickey. It's a bit hard to hear in the actual video, but I've got a transcript right here. What am I capable of? I failed my wife? I failed my best friend. I lost my best friend. What am I? What am I? This wind seems familiar. I am now stronger than the wind. I will show you all who I am. I will show you all who I really am. I will show you all. I will show you. and the entire town is on fire, while Mickey Mouse walks with a really disturbing face. As a community post from Vibing Leaf states, this is not a hallucination. He actually did this. He broke and burnt down this entire town and everyone inside of it too. Mickey has caused so much pain and destruction. As he says earlier, he will show them. He will show them what he can do. And this is indeed what he can do. After we see this happening, he then hallucinates meeting the devil who is actually a live-action individual. It's pretty cool because it's the first time in any Vibing Leaf video where we see footage of an actual person. The devil ends up telling him that he's heard enough and is laughing. But why is he laughing? Well, because he's sending Mickey to hell for burning the entire town down and killing a bunch of innocents. As he's falling, feeling nothing but dread, he lands in the sea. This is conveyed to us by a loud splashing sound. We are then treated to what looks like a 3D animation slowly revolving around an eyeless Mickey. As it zooms in, the picture instead fades to white. We see Mickey in front of a white background, and then another figure. After this, he seems to be in heaven, weirdly enough. But this is just another one of his hallucinations. In heaven, he sees Gideon, his friend, once again. The thing is, Gideon was there for Mickey. From the start of their friendship to his untimely death, he was always there for him. Mickey smiles because he finally feels at peace again, seeing his dead friend. However, this is just a hallucination. It turns out Mickey's been dead this entire time, the entire town has been burnt down, and everyone who resided inside of it is dead. Usually, Vibing Leaf videos end with some grieving. In Red Mystery Take, it was Spongebob and Patrick grieving Squidward. In The Grieving, it was Nicole and Richard grieving Gumball, Anais, and Darwin. However, in Mouse.avi, there is no one left to grieve Mickey. All the surrounding people are dead, his best friend is dead, it's over. There's no happy or bittersweet note at the end, that's it. 
making this the most depressing and sad vibing leaf video yet. Nikki's just dead from loneliness, an overdose, and quite frankly, after the death of everyone that he killed, he deserved it. We then see Russian text like in the original story. Only this time, it simply translates to goodnight, friend. And next to that are credits for those who helped on the video, and that's it. It goes without saying, but this video is incredible. The attention to detail is astounding. Hell, the actual video ends up being around 9 minutes long, just like the original story. It's honestly pretty fascinating to see a much darker take on this creepypasta. Because honestly, with the context of the full story, which has been posted in a community post by Vibing Leaf, it kind of makes sense that whoever watched this in the original lore of the story did what they did. It's a really depressing and sad thing. And a lot of the imagery is really horrific. And it's genuinely fantastic. These videos just keep getting better and better and better. It's genuinely impressive. To have this one just end on a sad note is new. I thought going into this that Donald and Goofy would be shown at the end grieving, but no. The formula's been broken. Now honestly, I don't know what to expect from a Vibing Leaf video. Instead of a bittersweet, somewhat happy ending, we're left with just death, and honestly, I respect it. I enjoy seeing these videos not being afraid to go there, if you know what I mean. A lot of the time, fabricated creepypasta things weren't very good, often made by probably teenagers in, in either Windows Movie Maker or MS Paint, or usually a mix of the two, often with just very glitchy VHS effects that were trying to mask the fact that most of the footage was just from pre-established episodes of the shows that they were copying. But here, it's legitimate. The graphic stuff is shown, and it's shown really, really well. The illustrations are all done very hauntingly, and the general idea is just genius. And I'm so excited to see more. If we go back all the way to Red Mystery Take, the three spirits at the end, I think that they represent different creepypastas that have been corrupted, right? I think there were Squidward on the left, Mickey Mouse in the middle, which now we've got Red Mist, Mouse.AVI, but then who is this character on the right? I do not know. Many people were saying that it was a character from the Pokemon creepypasta Lost Silver, which I'm not familiar with, but I think is popular within the Friday Night Funkin' scene. That is possible. Seeing Mickey falling down the cylinder kind of made me think of something awesome, and Vibing Leaf, if you want, take this idea, because I think it's a good one. Um, Polybius retake, right? That would be really cool. I'd like to also note that Vibing Leaf is working on Five Nights at Freddy's retake, which was originally suspected to just be a video like everything else. But no, this is gonna be a game, a playable Five Nights at Freddy's retake. And believe me, I will be covering that whenever it comes out. I'm really excited for Five Nights at Freddy's retake. I think that's gonna be incredible. And I think Vibing Leaf is gonna do an incredible job with making Five Nights at Freddy's kind of scary again. After all said and done, I have a pretty cool sponsored bit for you guys to see. I know, it's an ad, but it's one that I put effort into, and it's entertaining. So, check this out. Oh, that clipper has such teeth, dear. And it shows them pearly whites. Just a clipper. Sells old manscaped, babe. And it keeps your face looking right. You know when that clipper shaves your face, dude. Scratchy beard hair, you will shed. Fancy tech, though. Sells old manscaped, dear. So there's never. Never a trace of red You know, on that sidewalk Ooh, Friday night, uh-huh Stands my buddy Just looking fresh And uh, what's the secret To his fresh look? It's no secret It's a manscape night You can order or just walk right in. Now that manscapes sold at Target. Oh well, there's a clipper. Ooh, a deodorant. Look out for that body wash. And old two in one. Now use the rod tools for that important job. Go to Manscaped! Manscaped.com! Use code
code Raymundo for 20% off your order and free shipping. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed that little advertisement there. Again, a big thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. And, um, yeah, so I imagine a lot of you here are new. Um, whether you found this video through Vibing Leaf, through Mouse at AVI, or you're one of the 10,000 people that subscribed from the Liminal Space uh, Backrooms video. Uh, welcome! My name is Raymundo. 2112, and I make a bunch of spooky videos of a whole bunch of different topics, and um, I want to welcome you all with with open arms because I'm glad to have all these new people here. Um, it's awesome. This channel has been needing uh, a, a new surge of, of people, and it's it's great to have you all here. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know because that's the kind of feedback that I really appreciate. And go check out Vibing Leaf and watch Mouse to Davi retake in its entirety because I only showed parts of it. The whole thing is like 10 minutes long, and I only probably showed like 5 minutes of it. So check it out, because it's really an awesome experience, and now you know the story so you can really see it all unfold actively. Trust me, it's a good watch. Uh, to the new people here, I'm sure you have some questions, and I'm, I'm gonna try and answer a couple of them. So you might be wondering who my green alien guy is, uh, Captain Orion. That's his name. Did I create this character? Nope. I stole him. Uh, let me explain for a second. Clearly, this is not merchandise. Actually, I mean, I, I, I would love to release plushies of Orion, if I can. This is not something that I created. Uh, that, the character comes... People are really uh, confused about what he is. Um, some think that he is a fursona of mine, some think that he's an original character, some think that he's a Dragon Ball slash Ben 10 OC. He is none of those things. Uh, he is a character from an old themed restaurant called Mars 2112, which is where that number in my name comes from. And uh, I used to go to this restaurant as a little kid, and Captain Orion was always my favorite character there. However, the place closed down in 2012, and uh, no one really remembers it or talks about it, except for me. I'm the Mars 2112 guy. That is my claim to fame. And uh, yeah, it's a good one. So, I basically decided to use Captain Orion as my mascot, just to kind of bring some attention to the character, but also since he's always my favorite, just kind of represent him as me, or me as him, I guess. And so that is who you're looking at, Captain Orion, who has now basically been just renamed Raymundo by people who aren't familiar with the lore. So if you want to call him Orion or Raymundo, both are perfectly good. Behind me is my door of, of horrors, and uh, I've actually got some fan art on here, made by a bunch of different people. Here's some fan art, here's some fan art, up there, there, there's a bunch of stuff, alright? And what's kind of cool is that if you do make fan art and you want it to be featured, I will print it out and I will put it somewhere on this cluttered door. Let me know what you guys think about mouse.avi retake, let me know what you guys think about the original mouse.avi creepypasta, and how they kind of stack up to each other. Uh, mouse.avi retake has got so much more of a complicated story than the original, and I think it really complements it really well, I think it's really cool. But lots of people were confused about it initially, uh, until there was an explanation given, which is where a lot of my uh, understanding of the story comes from. Uh, I actually originally recorded the video with my own perception of the lore and what was happening in the video, and uh, it's needless needless to say I was wrong, um, and I have no no shame about that. I was just incorrect, um, but my perception was somewhat close. I kind of got the thing about Gideon the goat, uh, referring to him simply as Mickey's friend. Um, but I'm glad to have had the full lore explanation from Vibing Leaf and the full story, because then I can fully portray it to you guys and have a full understanding of what's going on. If this is only like your first or second video from me, I'd love to give you some suggestions of kind of like best of Raymundo 2112 videos, which also makes me think of the Gen Z childhood trauma iceberg, which is what I was previously most well known for and debatably still am. The childhood trauma iceberg is what it sounds like. It takes a bunch of different videos and movies and TV shows and clips from everything that scared Gen Z kids, stuff that was creepy on the internet, YouTube videos, whatever it was, and it's all in one massive iceberg or two massive icebergs. There's a, there's a video called uh, The Complete Saga, which is like three and a half hours. So if you've got three and a half hours to kill and you just, they're, they're really good to listen to. I know I'm personally someone who loves to listen to YouTube content. 
icebergs especially um i don't just make them i i i watch them too so if you want to listen to a long ass video that'll bring back a bunch of memories the childhood trauma iceberg is the way to go and also if anyone new here wants to get more involved with the community i have a discord server called raymundo's chill horror hub and that server is occasionally chill sometimes it's crazy and weird but that's also part of the fun of it i've also got an instagram which is a lot more normal um and they're both pretty cool if you got video suggestions those are the places to put them and also the comments down below anywhere really i really hope you all enjoyed this video huge thanks to vibing leaf for helping me out with it and huge thanks to manscape for sponsoring it and huge thanks to every single one of you out here watching it i've been raymundo2112 You've been an epic audience if you're watching this far, and I'll see you all in the next one.